listen up. It's just in. All the guys. Gossip. The Rumor Report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's The Rumor Report. The, the Breakfast Club. Well, Easter Ray was on with Ellen DeGeneres, and she talked about the similarities that she has in her real life to her character, Issa, on Insecure. Now, one of those things is money management and running up those credit cards. Here's how much she said she was in debt. I thought when I discovered credit cards, I was like, oh, this is easy. The game is locked. Like, all you do is you just get free money, and I can just keep ordering cards, and then you pay, like, $25 a month. I can sustain this, this is easy, eventually I'll be rich. And then I was like, oh, the, the gas station even has credit cards? Let me just apply for that, because I might as well, I have a car, I need gas. <laughs> and then I like applied for a Valero card and I got denied. And that's when I realized, oh shoot, I'm in trouble. And $25,000, you know, and at, at that point, I hadn't even seen, barely past like three figures. So mm-hmm. I was like, how am I gonna get this money back? Well, you don't have those problems now, you Ray, do Not at all, right. okay? And we all have to learn about money management at some point. I remember being in college and having all those different credit cards and running all, all of them up to their limit and not being able to pay it. I ain't never had those problems. So it's very stressful. You didn't go to college? Nope. Yeah, when yeah. it happens. Yeah, that's exactly why I didn't go either. I didn't want to be in credit card debt. <laughs> you didn't go to college because you didn't want credit card debt. <laughs> yeah, Makes sense. Loan debt. <laughs> it makes sense. Okay. This guy. I know what I'm doing. All right. Now, Amber Rose wants y'all to put some respect on the slut walk and everything that she's been doing as far as... Uh, empowerment for women. She posted every single year. I put my blood, sweat, and tears into my slut walk. I did not create the slut walk movement. I did, however, bring it to the forefront for this generation. People remind me of this daily through their deliberate attacks and evil comments. She said it becomes extremely frustrating when brands are inspired by the movement and curate my actual life story and use it as a marketing tool. The Amber Rose slut walk and slut walks all around the globe do not receive the attention or support that they deserve. She said body shaming, fat shaming, slut shaming, victim blaming. I take a lot of punches and a lot of scrutiny. But she said a few years ago, I used to put Milfin and Milf on all of my posts to only see a music video about Milfs that I was not invited to be in. Cool, I get it. What? I she, guess she wasn't the first Milf. She said she made it popular, I guess she said. Milf been popular, knock it off. Then she said, I show up to the VMAs with my team with outfits that say slut and the F word that rhymes with maggot, and she said, et cetera, and I go online and see huge brands take that and run with it and still no phone call. Two men made a song that said, you're such a effing hoe, I love it. But if I refer to myself as a hoe, take back any derogatory label and turn it into a positive or be confident in my sexuality, I, in any way, M Fers need 30 showers, and I'm literally the evilest person on earth, yet everyone wants to take my effing swag but look down on me. Drop one of Clues Bombs fan Burroughs, okay? Give her all the credit she deserves. She is a pioneer in this whole game. She's a pioneer in this slut game. She's just not the biggest hoe out here no more. That title goes to Aubrey Graham Drake. Drop one of Clues oh, Bombs to Drake. Drake is the new slut on the block. Drake needs to have a slut. No slut I think off. her point is taking the power out of those words. She's not saying that I'm the biggest I'm not hoe saying or in a the bad biggest way. slut. I'm not trying to slut shame her or Drake. I'm just saying that Drake is the new big hoe out here. Okay. All right. All right. But he can do what he, he can do what he wants with his body. That's his body. Okay. Pharrell has joined the Dr. Seuss the Grinch as a narrator. So congratulations to him. So he'll be a narrator of the animated The Grinch. I want to see that. Also, Tyler, the creator, has an original song for the a remake for a You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. And this is more visual, but I'm going to play a piece of it for you. Who is this mean fellow? Merry Christmas to you. All them smiles, turn up, brown. All them decorations, I count down. You can add to my title, play up, brown. You're a mean one, Barton. Get my farts ready, please. Was that two songs playing on top of each other? Well, there's a lot of things happening. So that's why I said it was more visual. Put some ass gas on that. Because you have to see other things happening while the song is playing. Fart all over that top of the It didn't sound good. One thing this generation hasn't gotten right is holiday music. Don't you think all the old holiday music sounds way better than anything I've heard in the past 20, 30 years? Okay, Mr. Grinch. It's the truth, He also has an original song called I Am the Grinch as well. So he was really hyped to do the You're a Mean One for the movie. He tweeted about it and everything. What's the good holiday music from the past 20, 30 years? There is none. All the good holiday music is dumb old. Mariah Carey this Christmas. um... (laughs) (laughs) None. (sighs) All right, let's. I don't know. So let's create something. 
I had a breakfast I'm trying to think if right? there's any good uh, songs from recent. I know what I want to hear when the ball drops. Oh, drop. Dipset had a great holiday album. Okay. I know what I want to hear when the Kanye ball drops. Kanye did one. What do you want to hear when the smile ball drops? Yeah, I, like, I, like, I did like that Kanye one. So when the ball's drop, with Tiana. you want to hear Smile Bitch? Yes, New Year's Eve, Smile Bitch. That's living my best life. Song. It can be. It will be this year, All God right, Stormy it. Daniels, tell all book. <laughs> now, some of the book full disclosure was obtained by The Guardian. And in this book, she very explicitly describes what it was like having sex with Donald Trump. Yuck. <laughs> you don't have to worry yeah, about yeah. Is that something me. you think about? I don't even want to hear this. She also talks about his genitals. <laughs> and she oh, wow. said whenever she saw him on television for years afterwards, she said she would an internal monologue would play out. I had sex with that. I'd say to myself, <laughs> eat. I do that sometimes when I go to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? She also says that <laughs> Donald Trump. It's got to be on Black Planet too much. Penis game. is smaller than average, but not freakishly small. Wow. She said he he knows he has an unusual penis. <laughs> Do you think of that too? <laughs> is that what you think about when you go no, to Facebook? I just hope too? I don't get those kind of reviews. Boy, that's a hell of a whole fact there, ain't it? It has a huge <laughs> mushroom head like a toadstool. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right. No, she I need said to I more. lay there annoyed <laughs> that I was getting f by a guy with. Yeti pubes oh, and a Yeti pubes, <laughs> not the Yeti, not Bigfoot cousin, and a D <laughs> like the mushroom character in Mario Kart. All right, ye. <laughs> you go. You know what the mushroom? Character I know exactly what Toad looked like. This is amazing. He must have been told that before. I have been told that before. No, I used to play a lot of Super Mario Brothers. Okay, I know what Toad looked she like. Princess said, Luigi. It may have been the least impressive impressive sex I'd ever had, but clearly he didn't share that opinion. Man, I'm buying All this right. book. Is this book out? <laughs> it's not out yet. I'm buying this book. That Full is the disclosure. greatest penis description I've ever heard since the little boy described Michael Jackson's penis. You're very into penises. No, huh? I just like he just like penis those kind of stories. That penis descriptions, hilarious. penis stories. That is hilarious. My goodness. Okay. And we've all been there. We've all gone on Have Facebook we? or gone on oh, social media. Oh, I thought you were talking about <laughs> You know what? I don't even like doing this. I don't even like talking to you. I don't even know why I come here every morning. I, come, I, don't I was know why like, I come okay, here. Why yes. Right. Why we have all here? been there. Why do I come here every night? <laughs> okay. I'm just, we all have been there where we've seen you, we somebody. We have all seen we a grant. mushroom oh, penis. No, have we have all been there. <laughs> right. okay. Thank you. I've had enough. All right. Ernie over there. <laughs> okay. I'm Angela right. Yee, and that is your, okay. Everybody send me I guess, rumor report. Right. Uh, that penis will do that to you, man. Bring it down.